joining us exclusively in prime time, Solomon Metawala. This is Baby Sky's father. And I think that it speaks volumes that he is here with me and with you taking your calls and questions. He is not afraid of the glare of the lights and the camera. And with him is his attorney, very well known in that area, attorney for Baby Sky's father, Clay Terry, both of them joining us exclusively tonight out of Seattle. Mr. Metawala, I, I have two children myself, both ages four, and I can only imagine what you're going through right now, wondering where is your baby? When did you first learn Baby Sky was missing, Solomon? Um, I found that out at 10:38 uh, a.m. when uh, three uh, police officers uh, came uh, to my uh, uh, my uh, uh, my house. Now, are you living separately from the mother, Julia? Yes, I'm living separately from, from her. And, and I know you guys are in the midst of a breakup, which it just adds on to everything. So the mom didn't call you, Julia didn't call you and tell you, the police came and told you? Yes, the police came and told me. Clay, Ter Clay Terry, you're the lawyer here. Why didn't the mom call? That'd be the first thing I would do is, is call the father, call my, my parents, call the whole family, everybody get, get mobilized, we gotta find the baby. Why did police have to come tell him? Good evening, Nancy. I'm, I'm, we're all mystified by it. It would seem like the first thing that she would do is set aside any of the bad feelings or the contentious feelings because the most important thing here is the child. And she didn't do it, and she has not been in touch with the family, and neither has anyone else surrounding her. I'm going to go back uh, from Clay Terry, the lawyer out of Seattle, to Solomon Metawala. Everyone, this is Baby Skies father and he is unafraid to answer my questions or yours here with his lawyer Solomon uh, you guys are in the middle of a divorce I understand that yes could you explain to yes. me one thing off the top is is it true that law and order is one of Julia's favorite shows yes it is as the, she loves that show she will always watch it now, another thing, Solomon, I don't understand this whole um, obsessive compulsive disorder. I know that Julia was involuntarily committed in the past. It, it's my understanding, and I, I've got a shrink here to explain it to us, but how would it manifest the OCD? I, I know that she wouldn't want anybody to sleep on the beds because they were made perfectly. A lot of times wouldn't have food in the house because it made a mess. <clears throat> Didn't want people using the commode because she thought that was dirty. I, explain to me, what, how did it manifest in your daily life, this obsession she had? Uh, <clears throat> well, um, our daily lives were uh, like, uh, like hell. And um, we we just tried to. She she's the person that I, I did care for, and I wanted to be uh, as supportive as 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 I could be uh, uh, to my wife. You know, she she was my wife, uh, and when the when her disorder uh, 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 was showing uh, under the children. and then that's that's when I said, you know, we gotta do something more than we have already done. Well, how was the disorder showing on the children? What do you mean by that? Well, uh, uh, Julia, uh, uh, before March 10th, uh, she kept on saying that she wanted to kill herself. And, and she said it so much that uh, Miley started to repeat, uh, I want to kill myself. And, and that's when I go, you know what, uh, whatever we're doing right now is not enough. We, we have to go and do more. You know, I know that she was an obsessive and compulsive cleaner at the house and would like only vacuum in straight lines. Is that true? Yes, that's absolutely true. What else would she do as far as keeping the house clean and keeping the children clean? Uh, she, she, she had a routine. Uh, it, would, it would go for uh, six to seven hours. So she would clean the whole house every day. It, does, it didn't matter if we use that that uh, uh, area or not, but it just it has had to be cleaned all the way through. 
So uh, starting from the uh, uh, kitchen f for to uh, um, all the c cupboards, all the place that there were outside display. If we had a, a, a one or two picture frames, she had to, had to wipe that. Uh, uh, the mantle, the TV, uh, everything had to be wiped out, out, out clean with just water and soap. Okay, now hold on. You mean plates that were on display? You'd have to, she'd have uh, to clean them? Yes. Okay, I can only imagine what happened in the bathroom. How did she clean the bathroom? Uh, exact same way. Every inch, every corner, uh, she would uh, um, Windex the, uh, the mirror uh, uh, before and after she would use the bathroom. Uh, every corner would, would get clean with uh, water and soap. Okay, this is something I, I, I think I didn't understand it. You mean after she would go in and TT or urinate, she would Windex mm -hmm. the bathroom window before and after she'd use the bathroom? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, after, she, before and after, uh, she, she, she would clean the toilet, uh, and then she would uh, window the mirror because she has been inside that room. So for her to be at peace again, that room needs to get recleaned. All right, Solomon, let me see him. I got a tough little question for you. I understand not long ago you and your wife left the baby in the car while you went into Target. Uh, what were you thinking? It's, it's, that's the worst mistake I've ever made in my life, and I'm very, very sorry. Uh, um, it, there's no excuse. Uh, well, at it, least you manned mistake. up and said you did it and tried to blame it on somebody else or anything like that. Uh, did, what, did you think the baby would be okay? I mean, was the baby asleep? Why, why would you do that? I, I'm afraid to leave mine in the car to just run back in and get their coat or something. Again, you know, th th there's just no excuse. Uh, uh, nothing can uh, justify what happened uh, that, uh, that evening. And, and that's what, I, what, what I'm saying. Solomon, I got another question for you. Was okay. baby Sky a surprise? Did Julia want to have a baby? Did she, when she found out she was pregnant, did she want another baby girl? I mean, I noticed the baby Sky looks so much like you. I've got a couple of shots of the two of you together. And at first I said, hey, quick, I want to make sure this is the boy's biological father. I don't need DNA now. When I look at the two of you, of you holding him, he, he looks like you spit him straight out of your mouth. That is your child. Did she want another baby? Um, uh, Sky was, uh, um, it, uh, he wasn't planned. Uh, uh, he just came forward. Um, so if you're asking me, did we plan to have a second child? Uh, I would say no, and Sky was a, was a blessing. Uh, uh, I, I love Sky. I could not imagine not having him in my life. He's such a dude. I like. I love him. And then uh, uh, I hope I don't know if that that answered your question. You answered it, and you actually reminded me of when I you know I desperately wanted to have a family. And I found out I was pregnant. And then a couple of months later, I found out I was having two. And that was a big surprise because I had so many plans about giving all my attention to one. I thought, how could I give so much love to two? How was I going to do it? So I'm just imagining Julia realizing she's pregnant and then having a boy, which is a whole nother can of worms than raising a girl. You know, Solomon, I've looked on your wife's Facebook and it's full of photos of your daughter. She calls her her organic baby, her organic baby girl. Well, well there's practically nothing of Sky. I think I've got more pictures of him than she does. Why? You know what? What Julia does is a uh, is a question mark. Um, I w I don't know why sh she would do that. Uh, I love both my kids equally. Uh, have you I'm asked blessed her? To have, both of them. have you asked her, Solomon? What happened to the baby? Have you asked her? 
She's not allowed to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, I'm not allowed to talk to her. 